Hi, my name is Kristen Christman, and for those of you who would like a compact statement, just a, for a few minutes, I'm going to read a letter to the editor that I wrote. It's, it's very difficult getting these into mainstream media, I find. They entitled it, American Policy Not About Compassion, which I think is a good title. Front pages scream of Russian savagery. Websites request donations for Ukrainians. Pop-up ads lament Ukrainian suffering. TV reporters interview sobbing Ukrainians. Even grocery store music halts to announce efforts to help Ukrainians. If this were truly about compassion, that'd be wonderful. But it's not. It's about mind control and supporting the belief in a script that U.S. policymakers have advertised for 245 years. That the United States and its allies are innocent victims and rescuing heroes battling against evil persecutors. Examine 245 years of history and you'll see that this script is fictional. It's a fictional psychological construct. If U.S. policymakers cared about suffering, they would have taken simple, obvious steps not to put Ukrainians in this mess, provoke Russia with NATO and missiles, promote Ukraine's undemocratic 2014 coup, and respond to Ukraine's resulting civil war with billions in weapons since 2014. If U.S. policymakers cared about people, we'd see interviews of sobbing Afghans and Iraqis suffering from barbaric U.S. invasions. And we would seek donations, ads would seek donations for U.S. torture victims. The news would report on the 800,000 Mideasterners slaughtered by U.S. forces since 9-11. And that's a conservative figure. Plus, it doesn't include those indirectly killed from disease and from the destruction to the infrastructure from overbombing, and from the earlier sanctions, too. Websites would request help for victims of savage U.S. war crimes. It's not compassion that U.S. policymakers are stoking. It's allegiance to U.S. policymakers' decisions about whom we should kill and whom we should cry for. Policymakers step beyond constitutional grounds when they use their power to turn our hearts on and off to bait us to hate some and love others, to serve their greed for Mideastern, Ukrainian, and Russian wealth. Well, thank you very much for listening. Good night.